Hi, everybody. Bob Harris here from KFGO and KFGO.com. And we're going to try to cure your case of the Mondays, especially if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, okay? Uh, first of all, I wanted you to take a look at this, okay? Remember that picture. I'm going to show it to you again here in just a couple of moments. Here's a couple of stories you may have missed over the weekend. Kingston, Ontario, Canada, they held a church service in a bar. Yep, in a bar. They got 100 of their congregational members uh, who haven't been to church in quite some time to attend the church at the bar. Uh, there was no booze served, however. Sunday was coffee only, but they are thinking about having services on a Friday and a Saturday night in the near future. Over in Berlin, Germany, two guys tried to rob a stationery store. Actually, they did rob a stationery store. They pulled up and uh, demanded all the money the guy had. The guy says, ain't got any money here. Sorry. Let's open up the safe. No money in the safe. But when they did open the safe, guess what they found? Postage stamps. 55 cents a piece, and there are $27,000 worth of postage stamps in the safe. They took those, and unless they're caught, they'll probably be selling those in the black market for less than face value. And the fourth annual Krispy Kreme Challenge happened this past weekend. 5,500 people ran three miles, then sat down and ate a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts, and then ran three more miles back to where they came from. It's a bizarre run. There's like 2,400 calories in all these donuts. And uh, they raised over $100,000 this year for a local children's hospital. Okay, who's this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, that is Earl Curly Lambeau. Lambeau Field, Green Bay Packers. He, along with George Whitney Calhoun, formed the Green Bay Packers back in 1919. He was given $500 for equipment and also uniforms for the team if they kept the name of the sponsor for the team. Who gave it to him? the Indian Packing Company, the Green Bay Packers. Have a great week. We'll catch you over the hump. I'm Bob Harris for KFGO and KFGO.com.